Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video, helping you with your maths every step of the way. So today I'm going to go through my predictions for the IGCSE Paper 2 0580 course. Many of you have asked for these predictions and this is for the October-November papers 2021. So my analysis, what I've done here is I've gone actually through um, the last 11 papers, it says 13 on the board, but I've uh, gone through the last 11 papers, so since March 2020 as um, there is one paper that comes out in March, but I've gone through the June 2020 papers, the November 2020 papers, and also the March 2021 and June 2021. So I've really tried to keep these predictions up to date. I'm going to go through my topics of note. Maybe it's a topic that doesn't really appear that often, but it started appearing. And I just want to talk very briefly about that. Then I'll go on to my often category, and then finally my almost certain category. So let's get started. So inequalities, I want to talk about this very briefly. So shading inequalities on a graph has now become much more popular if you look at the 2021 papers in particular. So really do make sure you've covered that in some form. Likewise, uh, with trigonometric graphs and solving, I've noticed more of these kind of questions appearing. So when they say, for example, 3 sine x equals 4, and you need to find solutions between a particular domain, that is coming more popular. OK, and you'll need to use some kind of graphical sketch. Um, a couple of topics down the bottom. So solving quadratics, highest common factor, lowest common multiple, Venn diagrams. I've noticed Venn diagrams will appear in some way, paper two or paper four. Standard form and also interior exterior angles of polygons. I've noticed they've integrated those into some of these circle theorem questions into areas of 2D, 3D and volumes of 3D shapes, which I'll talk about in a minute. Right, my often category, so you can see when I say often, I really do mean often. So it's appearing, you know, for example, 7 in 11 papers, which you'll notice many of these topics are. Um, I've put vectors into this category as well. This could also go into the almost certain category as well. Uh, make sure you know how to do vector algebra. So working around a parallelogram and splitting um, vectors from the ratio 2 to 3, something like that. The magnitude of a vector that comes up as a 1, 2 mark question. Um, circle theorems, so know the basic seven theorems, and also how to apply them sort of together. So it might be a question with alternate segment theorem, and then you need to use that to then work out another angle using cyclic quads, for example. Uh, equation solving, so mostly linear and simultaneous, very occasionally a quadratic simultaneous equation that has come up, I think, once fairly recently, so make sure you have looked at that. Coordinate geometry, so these are standard kind of coordinate geometry questions. Calculating the gradient, perpendicular bisectors, and often they'll give it uh, 8x minus 4y equals 3, and you have to arrange to give y the subject. Similarity is becoming more popular, so knowing how to work with length, area, and volume scale factors, and know the difference between them. Uh, again, that is a so-called rising topic. Upper lower bounds often integrated into other questions, uh, particularly on similarity that I've just mentioned, circle theorems, or areas of 2D shapes. Um, angle calculations, I would still make sure you know how to do this, but they are usually the easier kind of questions on your paper too. So towards the start, your questions 3, 4, 5, etc. So know about alternate angles, corresponding angles, and so on. And also proportion and variation. So these are very standard questions. So y is directly proportional to x, uh, y is inversely proportional to x squared, things like this. Make sure you practice those kind of questions. As you can see, they do appear 7 and 11 times. So you don't uh, want to get into a situation where you don't know how that question works. And finally, onto my almost certain category. Hopefully you haven't skipped straight uh, onto these topics. It is important you go through them. Uh, fraction skills, again, like I mentioned in my previous prediction video, if you haven't checked that out, please do check that out because um, you'll see from the comments that my predictions are pretty accurate. So please do check out my previous video I did for the June exams. Um, fraction skills, so it's your standard multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting fractions. Also make sure you know how to do recurring decimals to fractions. That does come up quite often. I've put these all together. A whopping 15 and 11 papers, so that is pretty much it is going to turn up. Likewise, area volume of 2D, 3D shapes, including compound shapes uh, combined with circles as well. It's a very, very ki common kind of question. So make sure you can do anything to do with areas of trapezia, areas of circles, sectors of circles. 
Indices is coming back in some shape or form. Fractional negative powers are always very important to know, but make sure you can always simplify expressions with indices. Things like 2x to the power of 4 times 5x to the power of 3. Things like this. Expanding factorizing algebra has always been a big topic. Uh, one thing I've noticed with my recent analysis is they put in a few expanding triple brackets questions, which um, is worth practicing as a separate topic. Um, this could also be in the form of algebraic fractions too, where you have to factorize top and bottom, and then there's a common factor. Uh, percentage calculations are always common on this particular paper. One thing I've also noticed is these increasing, decreasing exponentially questions. So make sure you know how to do those. Speed distance time often comes up, but I've noticed it's usually coming up in some kind of travel graph. So either a speed time graph or a distance time graph. So know the difference between them and know how to work out, for example, speed from a distance time graph. 3D trigonometry, now this is definitely becoming more popular. They give you some kind of 3D shape, often a pyramid, and they want you to work out an angle with one of the edges to the base. Very, very common now, and make sure you can do those kind of questions. Be able to take those triangles out of the shape and then work out the angle that you need to find. One thing I haven't put on here, so make sure you're watching until the end, is statistics. So I've made this into a kind of separate topic compared to what I've done in previous videos. And these are the four things you really need to know to make sure you're prepared. Number one, work out either the estimate of a mean or mean from a frequency table. You need to be able to do this manually by adding an extra column. Make sure you can do that. Stem and leaf diagrams are definitely back on 0580. And to an extent the 0607 paper as well, make sure you can do that. It's two marks but you need to make sure you're getting those two marks. Scatter graphs and line of best fit are also coming back. I've noticed this more and more on the 2021 papers. So make sure you can plot a point with a scatter graph, know what the correlation is, and be able to draw a line of best fit. And it's also worth mentioning box and Worcester diagrams that came up in great detail on one of the 2021 papers. So make sure you can do that as well. Right, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Again, a paper four prediction video will be coming out shortly. Of course, it's all depending on what appears on paper two, but this of course gives you a good start in your revision in the next couple of months or so. If you like the video, please do give it a like and subscribe because you'll find of course more videos in the future. Right, bye bye for now.